In this lesson, I'm going to walk you through the WooCommerce installation process. I'm also going to install the WooCommerce theme I'll be working with throughout this course. And we'll take a look at the pages WooCommerce creates during the installation process as well. Now let's jump into WordPress. As I mentioned in the lesson on integrating WooCommerce with an existing WordPress website, I'm going to start with a fresh WordPress installation for this course. And so this is the WordPress installation I'll be working with. This is the Hello World post which comes pre-installed on all WordPress websites. And this is the default theme. And this is what we're gonna be turning into a functioning WooCommerce web shop. Let me jump over into the dashboard here. Uh, let's take a look at posts. There's that hello world post we saw on the homepage. And take a look at pages. There's just the sample page, which comes pre-installed. We're gonna come back here and take a look at pages because I just wanna make a point of what WooCommerce does during the installation process. So you can see how these pages get created automatically. And then those are the special pages that are used in your shop for things like checkout and cart and my account. So to install the plugin, we're gonna to go to install plugins and add new. And this gives me access to the WordPress plugin directory uh, right here in my WordPress dashboard. I'm gonna search for WooCommerce. And so WooCommerce comes back as the first result. And uh, these other results here are actually extensions that we could install to add functionality, but we're just gonna start with a base plugin right now. I'm gonna click Install Now. So the plugin is now installed. I just need to activate the plugin. So I'll click the Activate Plugin link. So now I see the WooCommerce setup screen. This is a little bit of a setup wizard that's gonna walk me through setting up some of the most important settings. We'll loop back to most of these settings when we get into the settings module. Uh, but we're going to walk through this setup right now just to take a first pass at setting up the store. I've got an option to skip past this step, but I'm going to click the Let's Go button. And so the first option is to create these pages that I was talking about in the previous lesson, the one on integrating WooCommerce with an existing WordPress website, the shop and cart and checkout and my account. Uh, WooCommerce is helpfully offering to create all of these pages for me. I'm going to accept these and click Continue. Now I'm being asked about my locale. So this will be specific to where you're located and uh, you will find your location from the drop down menu. I'm in California. And this is a chance for you to set your currency as well. I will deal in dollars. Uh, and you can select your weight and dimensions. And we do things in the United States still in pounds and inches, unlike the rest of the world. So if you're outside of the US, you probably will go metric. I'll accept these and click continue. And then there's this question about shipping and tax. Will you be shipping products and will you be charging sales tax? Now this really depends on what kind of shop you're setting up. Uh, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm gonna answer yes to both. And when I check the button for basic shipping, I'm given an opportunity to enter some basic shipping values. And so I can set the default shipping cost for both domestic and international. And I can set this to be a flat rate uh, or a combination of a flat rate and a cost per item. Now we'll get into shipping in more detail in the lesson on shipping, uh, but for now I'm gonna go ahead and say that my total shipping is $5 and $1 per item. And then for international, I'm not even sure I'm gonna ship international, but I'll set up a large value here. $25 for international and $5 per item. And then I have an option to set up basic tax and so I'll click yes. After selecting that I'm going to uh, be processing tax, I have an option of entering the price inclusive of tax or entering the, entering the price exclusive of tax. I'm gonna go with entering the price exclusive of tax. So the product prices I'm going to be setting up when I set up my products will not include tax, and then WooCommerce will calculate tax on top of the price. And then it's giving me an option to import some starter tax rates, and why not? I'm gonna go ahead and click yes. It has figured out that California is 7.5%. And that looks right to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and accept these values and click continue. Now it's asking me about the payment options that I want to accept. And again, we're gonna get into more detail about these options when we talk about payment settings. Uh, but it's giving me the option right off the bat to enter my PayPal email address. And so at the very minimum, when I'm done with the setup process, I'll be able to accept PayPal payments. And then below that, I've got the option to accept offline payments, uh, check, cash on delivery. 
uh, bank transfers. I don't like the sound of any of those, so I'm not going to check any of those boxes. Uh, that's, those are too slow for me. Uh, I want to know that the money is getting to me in a more timely manner. Uh, you can make your own call on those values. When we get into the payment settings, we're going to look at setting up other payment gateways as well. So we'll talk about Stripe and things like that uh, later on in this course. Click Continue. And now WooCommerce is telling me that my store is ready. And I'm being given the option to click Create My First Product. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click that button just to get back into the admin area. And we will be talking a lot more about how to create products in the product module. But for now, you should know that WooCommerce has been installed and some basic level of setup has been done. Now let's take a look at those pages that WooCommerce installed. I'll click on Pages, All Pages. And you see Cart, Checkout, My Account. Uh, there's the sample page that was already there and Shop. Uh, these are new pages created by WooCommerce. Let me go in and edit one. This is what the cart looks like. It's just a short code. That's all there is to it. WooCommerce sees the short code and then automatically fills in the cart information for the customer who's on the site. And this is the same for all of those other special pages as well. We'll talk more about short codes later on in this course. Let's jump back to the front end of the website and you see nothing special. Nothing has changed. It's still a standard WordPress installation uh, with WooCommerce active, but I haven't created any products at all and I haven't installed a WooCommerce theme, so there's really nothing to see. Uh, so let's at least change the theme before I wrap up this lesson. So jump back into the admin and click under Appearance, Themes. Got the standard 20 themes here, 2015 is active. Click on Add New, and I've got the theme I'm gonna be using on my computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload it, and I will choose File and find it in a folder on my hard drive. and click Install. And I'm gonna go ahead and click the Activate link. And now the Superstore theme is active. Now again, I've got an option, a prompt here to go configure Superstore. I'll cover configuration of this theme in a separate lesson. And there's my site with the Superstore theme active. It doesn't look like much, uh, but for now WooCommerce is installed and I've got the WooCommerce theme active and I'm ready to start building my store.